Hi, hello everyone. This is Chakit from VAC Global Education. In this video, we are going to discuss about construction related courses which are available in New Zealand for green list program. So construction related program are the one which are there in the green list. So anybody who is from civil engineering background in India, they can do these courses. All these courses are in huge demand in New Zealand. That's why I have come up with this video so that you guys can know that if you will go to these programs, you will have a bright career. So what are green list program? These programs are there. Once you complete your master's degree, you will get five points toward your PR. And with one point you would need as soon as you get a job, you can apply for your residency in New Zealand. So these programs will help you get a good job as well as the pathway to residency if you wish to apply it. All this information is available on the immigration website. I will put down the link in the description so that you can check this information and then you can come back and see the video again. Also, you can watch this video completely and then go and see the link. It's up to you. But this whole information has been taken from the immigration website. I'm also going to talk about the jobs which are available in the construction field so that you would know how many jobs are there, what kind of roles and responsibilities are there and what kind of salary packages you can get because that way you would be able to analyze the market and can take an informed decision. Before I start giving you the information about the courses, I would like to discuss about the visa regulation so when you talk about getting the visa for the New Zealand, you need the funds for your entire tuition fees as well as the living expense. So tuition fees for construction programs, especially for the master's program, start anywhere from 45,000 New Zealand dollars and it can go up to 68,000 New Zealand dollars. So that is a huge bracket what you need to consider. So the lowest fees what you can get is minimum of 45,000 New Zealand dollar. I'm talking about the master's course, not the graduate certificate. Graduate certificate fees start anywhere between 35,000 New Zealand dollars. So that is a separate video which you can watch on our channel. But this video is for the master's program. So in this video, I'm also going to give you 10 programs which are there in the construction list which can help you get the student visa as well as you can look for the further work permit opportunity. So let's talk about the visa criteria. So when you apply for the visa for New Zealand, you need one year tuition fees and the living expenses. So let's say your fees is 50,000 New Zealand dollar and the course duration is one year. So you would need $50,000 plus 20,000 New Zealand dollar which is for your living expenses that make 70,000. In addition to that, you would need funds for your uh, travel and some more miscellaneous things like for example shopping and all so in total for this particular program where the duration is one year and the tuition fees is fifty thousand dollars you would need approximately 40 lakh rupees to show immigration that you have sufficient funds to take care of your education as well as the living expenses now these funds need to be from a verifiable source like for example, who can sponsor you? So your parents can sponsor you, which is mother, father, brother, sister, dada, dadi, nana, nani. Only these people can sponsor you, blood relative. Or if somebody is there in New Zealand who is your relative, they can also sponsor, but they have to be PR or a citizen. Now the uh, the fund should be at least three to six months old. And where this fund have come from, you have to give the justification. So if it is from the saving, you would need to show the source of the saving of these funds. Like for example, your father is in the business, he's getting the profit out of the business and he's saving that money. And from there he's showing the money that is acceptable. If you're both the parents are working, they are getting salaries and they are saving money from the salary in the form of FD saving account that can work. You can use those funds. If you have got funds from your uh, grandfather retirement, you can use those funds. If you have done any mutual fund investment in the past, you are redeeming that mutual fund, you can use those funds. If you have invested in the stocks, you are redeeming those stocks, then also you can use those funds. So this way, there are multiple ways how you can show the funding for New Zealand. Obviously, for all these things, you would need somebody who understand the funding for New Zealand and who can guide you and help you. So if you have any of those questions relating funding admission, you can write the comment below or there's a link given in the description. Click that link, get in touch with us so that we can help you and explain you about the funding, how it needs to be done. Apart from that, you would also need your PCC 
and a chest x-ray with the master scores you can take your spouse along spouse visa is approved once your student visa is approved also if you have dependent like kids they can also join you on a student visa if their age is above five years they can get a student visa if it is less than five years they can get a visitor visa age is not a criteria for new zealand even up to 50 years of age you can go and study in new zealand without any trouble so anybody who is thinking that oh my age is 40 plus 45 plus can i get a student visa of course you can get a student visa all you need to do is you need to give the proper justification of the gap what all you've been doing for the entire duration after you have completed your education last education till now whatever you were doing you can give the evidence of the work experience whatever you were doing with the proper bank statement and the salary slips and the offer letters appointment letters then you are good to go now let's talk about the programs which are available for you to uh, study at the universities so university of auckland has masters of engineering studies construction management which is a 120 credit points program this program starts in february and july the fees for this program is fifty thousand eight hundred and ten dollars apart from this fees you will also have ancillary fee as well as the health insurance and student levy fee so in total you can for all the fees which i'm going to tell you you can add around two thousand five hundred dollars approximate now the next program is masters of civil engineering construction engineering again one year program so all the program which i'm going to tell you in this video they are going to be one year program the fees for this program is fifty thousand eight hundred and ten dollars then you have messi messi have three programs masters of construction sustainable build environment masters of construction digital build environment and masters of construction without specialization the fees for these these program is forty seven thousand three hundred and forty dollars then you have uh messi university have another two program which is masters of construction construction project management and masters of construction quantity surveying the fees for this program is forty three thousand four hundred and eighty dollars so there are total five programs which you can take at messi university apart from that university of canterbury has masters of engineering construction management the fees for this program is 49,900. University of Canterbury also have Masters of Civil Engineering Construction Management. The fees for this program is also 49,900. Then University, Auckland University of Technology has Masters of Construction Management. Their fees is 48,700. And Victoria University of Wellington has Masters of Construction Law, which has the highest fees, which is $68,500. The IELTS requirement for the master's program is 6.5, not less than 6. So you need to have a good standard of English and then you can definitely get an admission. Once your admission is done, you can apply for the education loan, get the loan approved and then file for your visa. When you go for the education loan, you need to make sure that your parents' ITR should be at least is three times your annual EMI amount. If it is not three times the annual EMI amount, you will have to be very, very considerate while filing the visa because there is a very high rejection rate chances if your ITR is low and you have got an unsecured loan. For example, you have got loan from HDFC Credila, your parents' ITR is only 10 lakh. You have, you have taken a loan of 40 lakhs. Your EMI is 80, 85,000, which is not covering the, uh, not covered by the ITR. Then you will have to face a rejection. So before you make any of those kind of mistake, do consult to us so that I can guide you, help you make a better informed decision. Then only you would be able to get your visa without any trouble. So make sure that you discuss your case with an experienced counselor so that they can guide you about how to get the visa. Admission is not a problem. Admission is the easiest thing what you can get. The major thing is your visa. If your funds are not up to the mark, then you would you might have to face a rejection. So you need to be very, very careful about your funding part. I hope that this video was informative. If you have any question regarding your admission, visa then do, do write in the comment section or there is a link given in the description click that link get in touch with us and i'll be more than happy to help you in the entire process thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it if you have liked this the like button share it with your friends and family and subscribe thank you take care bye, -bye.